my dear students today i am discussing a few questions on electrostatics electrostatics may be divided into two parts one part containing coulomb's law electric dipole gauss theorem etc while the other part contains capacitors normally it is a belief that electrostatics has the concepts which are really tough and hence i want to give you a small suggestion that is rather than concentrating on the answer try to concentrate on the concepts that i explain together with the approach because once you are clear about the concepts and the method of approach any deviation in the question if it comes in the exam you will be certainly able to approach it without much of a difficulty let me illustrate it by taking the very first example the question is a charge of 0.07 microcoulomb is lying at a point a with the coordinates 3, 5, minus 1 in a cartesian coordinate system the electric potential at a point b 035 is look here you have already studied that the potential at a point due to an isolated point charge is given by the formula 9 into 10 to the power 9 into q divided by r please note that i am assuming air medium in this case q is directly given but r is not directly given the charge q is at the point a35 minus 1 a35 minus 1 the point b is say with the coordinates 0 3 5 0 3 5 look here by the distance formula in coordinate geometry you know that the distance r between the points a and b is given by under root of x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square plus z2 minus z1 whole square it can be done orally 0 minus 3 whole square is 9 3 minus 5 whole square is 4, 9, 4, 13. 5 1 whole square is 36. 36 plus 13 is 49. Root 49 is equal to 7. Hence, you agree that R is equal to 7. If you write it, you can write this as 9 into 10 to the power 9. Charge is 0.07 microcoulomb. can be written as 7 into 10 to the power minus 8 coulomb divided by the distance is 7 you can easily see that 7 cancels with 7 10 raised to 9 10 raised to minus 8 is 10 raised to 1 equal to 10 10 into 9 is equal to 90 volt and therefore third alternative is the correct answer let me now go to the second question two fixed charges minus 2q and q are located at the points with the coordinates minus 3a0 and 3a0 in the xy plane the locus of all the points in the xy plane where the electric potential due to the charges is zero is a one straight line 2 ellipse 3 circle 4 parabola you know you have solved the examples on locus in locus problems normally you follow three steps number 1 conditions given in the problem are put in the mathematical form number 
you simplify the equation so that it comes to the standard form number 3 then by knowing the standard form you identify the nature of the locus let me now consider the actual problem the charge minus 2q is located at this charge minus 2q is located at the point minus 3a 0 minus 3a comma 0 another charge is located at another charge is located and the charge is q it is located at the point 3a comma 0 now you have to find the locus of the point p such that net potential at the point p is 0 i request you to please note that the first test in the locus problems is let p x y be the point whose locus is to be found next point put the condition given in the problem in the form of a mathematical equation in the sense if the net potential at p is zero potential due to this charge and this charge are numerically equal but the opposite in sign ignoring the sign if you keep them numerically equal then the charge is k remember in electrostatics small k stands for 1 upon 4 pi epsilon 0 that is 9 into 10 to the power 9 capital k stands for the dielectric constant k into q by r charge is 2q divided by r r is the distance between the points p and this charge this is equal to under root of x2 minus x1 whole square x plus 3a whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square is plus y square this should be numerically equal to the potential at p due to the charge q you agree that it is k into the charge is q divided by again the distance formula under root of x minus 3a whole square plus it is y minus 0 whole square is y square i request you to please note that k into q k into q will cancel if it were a regular board exam you would have simplified and got the answer and you could have obtained the answer but in cet as far as possible elaborate workings should be avoided and you have to use logic behind it suppose you imagine that the expressions are squared both in lhs and rhs you get 4 into x square is a 4 x square this x square will go to the right hand side if you bring it to lhs 4 x square minus x square will be equal to 3 y x square similarly if you take this one 4 y square and if you bring y square on this side minus y square will make it plus 3 y square please note that x y term is absent in both the cases you all know that a, a second degree equation of the type a x square plus a y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c equal to 0 that is if the coefficients of x square and y square are equal and the xy term is absent then it represents a circle therefore since it is 3x square plus 3y square coefficients of x square and y square are same and xy term is absent hence the locus is a circle therefore third alternative is the correct answer